Hello everybody and welcome back for the third booster box set edition simulation with blisters. So the last two boxes, because this is number three, were awful representations. Because the first box literally tipped the scales and the second box tipped the scales. So I'm hoping that this being the third one will kind of show me... Uh, a better representation because all of my hypothetical science or theories of how this was going to go down have been extremely unpredictable. So let's just have a good time and let's open some Magic the Gathering packs. Look at that, pack one. So we got Herald King of Skemfar and our first rare is Cosmos Elixir. Pretty interesting play. Uh gonna gain some life so that's gonna be helpful for triggering some of the life game strategies blossoming out of uh, the last two years and on top of that i really like that the second mode offers another outcome it's like oh if you don't have if you don't hit these checks then you can hit these ones i like cards like that and they're both they're both upsides so it's like a double good all right Many of these have come through. Oh, double rare pack. Very happy to get this pack. Any double rare packs make me a happy camper. And especially this card. This will see a little love in the coming standard future. But everybody, we are not here to talk about that. We are here to pull mythics. That is all we are here for. We gotta, we gotta see if talk is cheap. Okay. Okay, moving along. Oh, Blessed Frost. Okay, let's see what that is behind it. Anything good? Not really. Svela. And a Broken Wing Foil. Moving along. This is the third one, so we're just going to be cruising. Cruise Control. Carter's Vicious Return. Ooh. Sigrid God Favored, really like that. And a Replicating Ring and Revitalize Foil. Great card. Let's see what she's going to do. I got some specs on that. Human Warrior, Legendary Creature Class for Strike Protection from God Creature. Let's see what she's got. Ooh, Frostland, moving a little fast, lower down. Oh, nice, saw that. <laughs> my apologies, saw that, cheated that out, and was like, oh, I know my boy. Great elf to come out of the set. Oh, double rare pack, look at that. Dragon Skin Berserker, pretty good human too. I want to see what both can do with this. Uh, oh, triple rare, triple rare pack, loving it, foil rare. Got our common giant we see all the time, but we got Ascendant Spirit, Dragon Skin Berserker, and Elvish War Master. Triple rare pack. Loving the spice. Okay, moving along. Still no mythic, so. It wouldn't surprise me. The last box had eight mythics. Phenomenal. I was like <laughs> ecstatic. Okay, looks like we got something that is just too abundant, and that was, you know, can't, they all can't be hit, but I gotta, but I gotta tell myself. Oh, nice, cool art card, oh, beautiful, love the foil frost lands, that's just what I'm calling them. Three Angels and a Magda Brazen Outlaw. And, oh, wow. Look at that. Double rare pack with our first Mythic. I love seeing Alrond. He is a great card. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Everything about him. You need the versatility. And what I love about, what I love about the modal cards is they allow you to play both cards in like in sync 
they like work off each other. It's great flavor for the game. Sweet. First mythic I'll run. Just one of my one of my more desired uh blue cards from the set, even though I don't really play a whole lot of blue. I just like the way he looks, it's like the Zeus vibe, but he's really just like super wise. Oh nice. Tall for tor, tarl for whatever. The Thor god. Alright, we got a green variant, uncommons, and we're moving into some majestic reflections. Cool. Good card. One of the better foretell cards to come out, and an icy manolith. That is from the troll legend. Oh, wow. Super cool art card. That's the squirrel. Tolski or Tolski or not sure. Woodland Chasm Foil. Beautiful. Alrighty, moving along. So we're just sitting on one mythic. Hoping to get another, snag another. We got Rally of the Ranks as our first rare, and we got Egar Showcase. It's our uncommon in the back, and we got Arachniform as a foil and a foretell token. Beautiful cards. Oh, nice. Another another cool art card. Moving along. Invasion of the Giants. Oh, Battle of Frost. This is like all giant themed. Just tremendous giant everything. The whole literally I think the whole pack was like wizard or giant themed. I just think that was one of the the large uncommon uh pack variants. The list has been eluding, though. Like, really, the this go-around, haven't seen too many cards off the list. Okay, let's see if we're going to get something good. I want some spice. Oh, Crippling Fear. That's good. I like Crippling Fear. Super good card. Oh, Tyver Kell token. Going to put that in the rare slot because I'm going to need that later. Crippling Fear, and we got Broken Wing for the foil. He is the underprinted mythic for sure. The elf, uh, the elf planeswalker. I gotta say because like nowhere is he to be found at all. I think I've got one in all my openings, so at least I got one. King Murphy's betrayal, not what everybody's looking for, but. You win some, you lose some. We got Shackle the Treachery. Shackles of Treachery is pretty cool. And our Yeti with our birds. Moving along. That's really the part I would love to get is the Elf Boy. Come on, Elf Boy. Alright, Doomscar. Oh, and we got some new... I'm always good. I'm always glad to get. Oh, okay. Pause. Messing things up. Elven bow. When I don't have a card, all right. When I don't have a card, I'm always happy to include. So yeah, I don't have this guy. So getting this is the first copy. Pretty happy to get it. Doomscar board wipe. Happy to get it. We got another four old dwarf. All right, let's stack them up and see how many we got. All right, we're stacking at four. We're stacking at eight, 10, and 11 again. So pulled this one a little early, but oh well. I gotta make some more space. I gotta make some more room. Still sitting on one Mythic though. In the last opening, the Mythics just poured out in the last 11 packs. So trying to get that same luck going. Oh, Egon. Seen a lot of Egon's. He's like the baby god. With an attitude. Alright. Foil Rune Crown. Moving on. Yeah. The Prismatic Tree. Any, anything. Anything. Any goodies. Let's see, let's see some, some mythic pulls. Alright. Three seasons. 
pretty good. Oh, Battle at the Brett Guard. Not that. Not that. Oh, double rare pack. Nice. Elvish Warmaster. Any day of the week, please. Inga Runeyes. Interesting. And then we got Hagamob. Oh, nice. Oh. Let's look at the list card. We got a Noiner Priest. Whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and it's an embalmed creature. That's pretty good. And it's on the list. Cool. So we got two War Mar uh, Masters, Elvish War Masters. Yes. Speaking of Egon, we just pulled another one. Snow Covered Island. Nice little red dwarf variant. Treasure variant. The Raven's Warning. It was coming. And Sulphur Land Frost Pyre. That's beautiful. Let's go on to the auto include. And a replicated ring. And a shimmer drift veil. They've been they just packed the, the back common or uncommon. It's the same thing. Nice. It's a beautiful art card. We just got this variant. Herald. Oh. Burja's Retribution. Oh, double rare pack. What a beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Give me the pathways. I need the pathways. That makes me happy. Getting that pathway. That might have made my playset too. Of my non-altered showcase borderless. So I'm pretty happy about that. No, sorry, mistaken. Thought that was a gold signed art card. I was going to show it off to you guys. We did it. We did it. That's all I want is just, just play set after play set. Because I just want to use this in multiple strategies. I think this is going to be great in control. You just foretell it. Boom, foretell off. During your turn, you may pay too. Late, this is going to be some late game shenanigans. And what if you put, pop multiple off? A bunch of people die. You just set three of these off. What are you going to do? 20, 20 zombies. Cool. Really like that. Ooh, we got a Finn Showcase. Beautiful. And a Foil Carter's Vicious Return. It's pretty interesting. Set that over there with the treasure token. Mythic Poles are absolutely horrendous in this in this box display one mythic i don't know what's going on but one mythic is not gonna cut it Ooh, coma's faithful whoa love looking at the new black elves oh what do i say guys you just gotta complain and you get yourself these awesome valkyrie angel berserkers Holy smokes, mythic number two, Eradicator Valkyrie. This is going to be something. Anything that says lifelink flying is going to be something. Boast, sack, a creature, all that. Super good. Very happy. Two mythics. Nice. And another foil disdainful stroke. Great. Elf Warrior token and avalanche caller. Cool. May the mythics rain down. <laughs> okay, let's get through that. Oh, big hit. Yes. The world tree. Number three. Got one in the last box too. This is hard for me to get, so I'm happy to get these. Anytime I get that, I am grinning. Box doesn't have too much else. Okay, snow covered forest. Morite, pillar. Oh, look at that. Hopefully, we get an increased pull rate because I like this card. And what do we get after? Showcased Egar, Dusk Wielder. That's pretty cool. Elf Berserker for one boast. Target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That's going to be good. Little black elf. Oh, nice. Another card off the list. Troken High Guard. Knight with a sword and a gun. 
Is that Portal 3 Kingdoms? I'm not sure. 3-3 three, three for 4 on the list. I was wishing for Emmercool. Moving along. Let's get through these commons, people. Oh, nice little bit. Oh, Mythic number 3. Get in that Nico. Do not have very many of him, but the only copy I got was a foil in one of my boxes, so I'm happy to see this guy. Because I wasn't going to play with that foil. No way. Two beautiful uncommons. And our boy, Nico. So we got three mythics so far. Got two packs to go. Yeah, so what? The first box was two mythics. The second box was eight mythics. This one's... <laughs> this is just too far. Two out of... Two out of whack. Can't can't really pinpoint or say too much. The speculations I was trying to make, they they have no real evidence. So I'm not even gonna make them. Magic, just keep doing what you're doing. People keep people clearly keep buying it. Oh my god, yes! Just gotta stay true. Just got to stay true because all the mythics come in the end. Ty Barkel, number two. Yeah, these two guys are hard to snag easily. Back-to-back -back mythics. Got my boy. Yes. This, this makes the box opening. I don't even care about anything else. He is so hard to pull. And a Finn in the same pack. Awesome box. Four mythic, so we're, we're picking up, picking up steam for sure. Last pack luck, everybody. I would just be blown away if we got a mythic in the close. Another elf variant. Let's see what we got, everybody. Okay, we got a Maja and old Rotrol. Okay, so I was just hoping for uh, shooting for the stars. I'll settle though. Because in the close, it was just bam, bam, bam. Even the eight, eight mythic box really didn't hold up to this. I was really looking for him really hard. Super, super hard. So, very happy to get these. Four mythic box. So, I think we're at two, then eight, then four. So let's do another uh, little pack opening and see what uh, what we can get. Uh, but then we'll just uh, see. Uh, yep, the World Tree Pathway. One. Put them together. I just want to see how many of the War Masters. All right, so we got two War Masters. Yeah, so we did. We, yeah, we only got two War Ma Masters in the box. But hey. I think the third one came in the the last opening these are all blisters though so technically this is all simulate simulated boxes but everybody thanks for viewing and stay tuned for the next opening bye bye